Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today from Holman's Handcrafted Series we are featuring the Brown Goat Skin CSB verse by verse double column wide margin. That's a mouthful but this thing is really really nice. I've got the black goat skin version here and I've also got the brown so I'll kind of do a quick comparison of the two but of course you know when you get the box you're going to get something nice and when you open the box it's going to have this protective um, cover in it and you're going to have your pledge card letting you know that if anything goes wrong they'll replace it for free but anyhow this is the brown this is the black now you will notice that this one has longer ribbons that's because i did a ribbon replacement in this back when they first introduced their goat skin series like this they didn't put very good ribbons in it so i did a ribbon replacement that has been addressed they are a little shorter but they're still super nice ribbons love the gold love the red love the black so anyhow one big complaint about this Bible was that they didn't believe the art gilding was dark enough. And I believe that's been addressed in this, but I really didn't have that problem. But you can see it does appear to be a little bit darker. So they've gone a little better with the art gilding. So anyhow, as far as the layout, as you can see, there is accent colors, corner references, bottom notes, double column format, verse by verse. It is a wide margin. This has almost an inch margin. Now, one thing they did that the Thomas Nelson wide margin didn't do is they gave you a little more margin in the gutter. So you do have some space to take notes. Now, obviously, it's a little tight in there because of that edge lining, which I'll show you in just a minute. But beautiful 10-point font. This is a 2K Denmark, so it's going to be very reminiscent of comfort print because 2K Denmark also does comfort print. This is that dark, bold 2K Denmark style that just really makes... Um, your text easy to read and this is the exact same text block as this this is the 2020 csb text and so you'll notice that it has your decorative titles to your to your books it has your decorative red chapter numbers and it has your red on the verse numbers to make them very easy to stand out very easy to see it also has red accents on your corner references and your bottom footnotes this is really beautifully well done so anyhow, now let's compare the goat skin between the two. All right, this is the black goat skin. You can still get this one. This one is the brown goat skin. Now there's something with this one. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks like there's a little pattern. I don't know if that's natural to the animal or a flaw in the skin. Not really sure, but anyhow, just wanted you to note that's there. Spine work, tooled. It is embossed a little bit, so that's really nice. Same with this, but this one doesn't feel as embossed, so I think maybe that's an upgrade. Also, the tool lines seem to be a little deeper in this one, so I think that may be an upgrade as well. Of course, you got your perimeter stitching. Both of them have a, a cowhide liner. Both of them are edge lined with a paper end sheet. And, but you'll notice right away, check this out, just by the way they lay, you can tell that this goat skin is way more floppy. This is more stiff. That has always been the case with me for brown. A couple of things. Number one, the black goat skin always seems to smell more leather-like when the brown goat skin doesn't seem to have as much of a smell. Both of them have quite a generous yap. So this yap would be beautiful to train because it is stiff. So if you wanted to train that yap, it would train really well and it would stay very well. Well, this one is kind of soft and pliable. You may have to train this one more than once. So now let's take a look at a couple other things that this one offers. This is a black letter edition no red letters so if you don't like red letters a lot of people don't like red letters for theological reasons other people don't like black letter or red letters because sometimes they can be hard to see they're not dark enough or or something like that so this one does not have that issue then when you get to the end now this is one of the areas where this one's kind of weak is it does have a very small small concordance that that font is tiny it's not like Skylar tiny but it is little and then another area that I love Holman is they use the flat maps. They don't have the shiny, glossy maps, so you don't have that annoying light glaring off of them. A couple other offerings from the handcrafted series in Holman is the very popular single column wide margin. Now, you'll see the big difference with this one. Let's get to a pro setting because the poetic, I really wish they would have centered the poetic settings because you see that ghosting, but this is 36 GSM paper in all these. So premium Bible paper really nice so now let's take a look at the layout this one is a paragraph format it's going to be much easier to read still has your wide margins on the inside and the outside it still has that nice dark bold font 
It doesn't have a lot of cross references and it doesn't have a whole lot of footnotes. That's really not this one's design. This one has a lot of cross references. It has a lot of footnotes, has your wide margin. But you'll notice in this one, the verses are a lot easier to find because they're on the edge of the page. Now, what's good about this single column is all the verses are red. So they are still fairly easy to spot. This one will be probably be much better in like a preaching or a teaching context where you need to find your verses and your references quickly. This one will be nice with sitting down on your lap, you're reading, because one thing you'll notice is that double column saves you a ton of width. I mean, this bad boy is almost double the thickness of this. As a matter of fact, stack them both up and you can see that it's just a little bit wider than both of them or, or less wide than both of them. So really nice. I like it. I like the brown goat skin. It is weird that it has that pattern on it and I don't know what that's about. I've never seen that before. So maybe there's a goat skin connoisseur that knows this stuff that can tell me what's going on there. Maybe that's something with the animal. Maybe that was something in the dyeing process. But this is a beautiful Bible, beautiful art gilding, beautiful ribbons, really well done text layout. I love the verse by verse format. I love the wide margins on both sides. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well done, Holman. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholas Ward.